Aries, what's good? Welcome back. It's Magic Team Magician Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe below if anything that I'm about to say does resonate with you. This is your weekend update for Friday, June 21st through Sunday, June 23rd. Let's see what's going on. We just rock our tarot today. So, and we might also mix in a couple different decks just to see what's going on for y'all. And one more shuffle. Let's do this. Right, my Aries. I know some of you guys got back recently with some cool trips, and now the shock of work or just being back to work is definitely hitting you full force. But you know, you're strong headed. Here we go. Number one, the magician card. This is great. So, whatever little vacation you just went on has definitely got you feeling yourself again, feeling full of new ideas. You might have seen new things, you might have heard new things, you might have tasted new things. And now you just brought it all back into your life. So, excuse my dog. Ah! You might have just brought some of those things back into play, into your profession, your new learning, your research. It's about to pay off. Let me close the door. And if you have not implemented the things that you've learned yet, this would be the time to do that, right, Mary's? Magician card. Out the gate on Friday. That's how you're feeling. Okay, let's continue our journey here. Midday, the logic card, number four. I believe that's our um, emperor. Exactly. So that's your card. <sighs> wow. Two powerful, independent leader figures. One, your creative side. Two, your logical side. You're getting to do both those things today. You're going to bring kind of take it all down and digest it and then put it out for mass production. Boom, illumination card. So this is great. Whatever idea it is, and I always like to point out this card kind of looks like an ace of pentacles because it's like bringing all those ideas into a place where you can make money off of them. Okay, now number 19. The world card. It's great. No, no, no. Illumination. Let's look a little bit more into the, what the Illumination card means. In this deck, we know this deck is a little bit more um, abstract. I'm going to give you guys the reading here. Again, this is Friday, and then this is just a weekend update, so this is a transient moment for you. Here we go. Okay. So it says, material happiness, success, achievement of goals. It's a favorable omen. This is great. A young eaglet symbolizing the in innocence of childhood flies around the sun, collecting healing energy and donning new ideas. Whew. Okay, this is really good now. Saturday. Four of swords in the reverse. Prosperity. But, so, people are really looking up to you and you're really making moves, but at the same time, you're definitely looking a little bit tired. Like, people are starting to see that you're really pushing yourself here. Okay, 21. This is the world card here. So completion. Interesting. Oh, this is the sun. That's why. Okay. So the sun card here and then the world card here. This is great. You also could have a child that's in Aquarius. Um, you could have a protege. You could have a brand new idea or a new business. This is what this is looking like here. New business is really starting to take shape. But then the two of pentacles in the reverse. So by Saturday night, you're feeling like your work-life balance is a little bit off. Maybe you want to go to sleep a little bit early. Maybe you actually don't end up making it to sleep early because you're just in this moment where you just need to keep rocking. So now that you've come back from your trip, you haven't quite had time to get your bearings correctly or whatever trip it is. Like if it was an actual trip or if it was a, you know, a trip trip, I don't know. I don't judge you, Aries. Okay, whatever you were doing, you're going to channel, channel that and you're going to rise to the challenge of it. I don't know why I couldn't get that out, but channel it. Don't be afraid to channel it. So Sunday... Could have a disagreement with a Leo. Could have, like I said, just still that feeling of tiredness. Maybe something could be going on that you're not quite aware of. Seven of cups in the reverse. So possibly a little bit of just too many options, too many things, too many social engagements. engagements. Wow, tongue tied here. And then a four of pentacles in the reverse. So be 
aware of retail therapy on Sunday, Aries. <laughs> like, if you're feeling completely overwhelmed, you have too many things to do, and you decide instead to take the day for yourself, do something productive with it. Don't go out and just spend a bunch of money because the Four of Pentacles in the reverse is definitely not... Like, the if the Four of Pentacles represents, like, holding on and being thrifty, then the Four of Pentacles in the reverse is saying, like, do not overspend just because you're feeling tired, just because you're feeling overwhelmed. That necessarily is not, like, that's not necessarily the perfect therapy, even though it seems like it. Yeah, Six of Pentacles kind of. So instead, it's saying, instead, take more time to spend with your family. Take more time to give rather than to take. So maybe you need to set, take some things to the Salvation Army, to the Goodwill, what have you, to the thrift shop, the Circle Thrift, your local thrift, whatever it is, and get those things and pay those things forward before you think about giving anything else away. So if there is a business, or I'm also hearing that like some of you guys are actually dealing with a physical brick and mortar location of your new business. You need to get some of the older things and the older energy out first before you bring anything new in. And that includes personnel. If you are a big boss and there's some people that are still around your business that you know are not really giving you quite the fire under their belly that is required of this new transition or this new business and you need to cut that dead weight unfortunately but do it in a kind way you know maybe work with them but then we have a mankind of intellect here so you have an immature air sign around you that you are king of swords that you just cannot like get a handle on them or maybe they are looking at you sideways because of your spending or because of your ideas or maybe they don't quite believe in what you're doing or they're not quite committed to the project that person you're having a conflict with them let's illuminate what that could be transformation okay so a death card there so as you're changing your relationship with this person is definitely changing and if it's a love relationship you're really wanting to fight for it you don't want to give it up you love this person dearly but it could be the end of a particular chapter with them or like I said, if they're getting in the way of your work situation, then this is something that you have to address. And let's see, one more. Peacemaker of intuition. So there's going to be somebody around you that will come through as a mediator, as slightly younger, but that's going to give you a different perspective. This person is could also be a fire sign. Got a wands here. Oh, excuse me. This was not a sleep card. This was a four of intuition. So this was actually four of wands. So there is a marriage situation that could be a little bit on the rocks. But you're not going to give up on it. You have to find the work-life balance. Okay, I see this map now. Okay, if it's a marriage and you feel like this person is your forever, then you need to balance work and life. And you need to get a mediator, somebody that's a little bit different. Because you know when you have fire and you have air, you know, you have combustion all right Aries now we don't want that for that we don't want that for it wants to be in the reverse view because you are your card also kind of represents with this emperor card here the sanctity of marriage the togetherness and or of a relationship or of a business partnership where like mediation is the only way to move forward all right now let's take a sacred traveler moment here and let's just see what's other advice is out there in the universe for you. A couple things wanted to jump out. Let's see. A lot of cards. But definitely watching clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. So there is definitely that message there. You have to take it easy, work life balance. Get the big picture, view from above. So that's indicating that um, this peacemaker of intuition here, this young fire sign, they're receptive to you. They look up to you, a fellow, fellow fire sign. Obviously, this could be like a Leo be Sagittarius. They're going to give you a different perspective. Staying focused, hold the course, passion and pleasure, savor your life, and then lastly, fogged in. No, because it's in the reverse. So you're not fogged in. You're focused, but passionate and pleasure. You know what I mean? So your passion is your work, Aries. You're a little bit of a workaholic. That's the picture that I'm getting here. However, your love and your relationship is super important to you, and you're not going to give up on it. So if this person is acting a little bit in a huff, maybe they're a little bit jealous of your particular success or maybe jealous of how much you get to actually call the shots. You can't help that, okay? That's your nature. That's what you got to do. And you have a lot of really good cards here. You got the world card. You got the sun card. You got the magician card. You have the emperor card. The, the weakness, the only weakness that you may be having is just you're balancing 
between the two, and this is a common theme for you. But who will give you a little bit of a, a perspective of what you're looking for? Have a conversation with a fellow fire sign that's younger than you. It could be a Leo, Sagittarius, could be um, fellow Aries. Okay, they're going to give you the insight that you're looking for. And, of course, if you do have an Aquarius child or you have a project, brand new thing, the sun is shining on you. And you are looking at the sun and you're moving towards it. All right, Aries? So, really, really good message for you. Magic, Demon, Magician, Tarot, here for all your cosmic inquiries. All right? Deuce.